thousands of union protesters took to Perth streets today against the US oil and gas giant Chevron importing cheap foreign labour. Big resource companies are hiring cheap overseas workers and paying them as little as $3 an hour. When the Chevron Gorgon project on Barra Island got planning approval, Chevron promised the Australian people that this project would deliver enough tax that personal income taxes could be cut for all Australians. Gorgon is one of the world's largest... Chevron challenged us from the very start of that job. It started with a non-union four-year stevedoring agreement with Toll. The ITF got involved in this project because the project was 18 months late, it was $17 billion over budget, and unions, specifically maritime workers, were being blamed. Mr Chevron, get your head out of the sand. Workers aren't to blame for the cost blowouts on Gorgon, although we know that's what project management keeps telling you. We started to look at this project and what we found was that the project management was a shambles and it wasn't workers' fault. So this is the short version of that report. We launched this basically a year ago. And we weren't going to take it, that it was our fault and we were going to find out what was going on. And another independent study found that the best opportunity for savings on LNG projects could be found in better management practices, not lower wages for workers. We saw repeated attempts to remove people that we cover off any of the vessels that worked across the project. We saw the attacks on divers, MUA divers, and the attempts to get uh, non-union agreements up there that were overturned through a pretty sustained eight-month campaign. Chevron's in the Chevron's in the In the dredging component, in the marine labour sector, both the engineers and officers, very few vessels had Australian complement labour on those vessels. This culminated in probably uh, the first time we've seen it in this country. The main contractor for Chevron on the Gorgon project on the marine spread, a company called Old Seas, suing the Australian government to say that they had no obligation to employ Australian labour on that project. Unfortunately, they won that case and they went one step further. If they had to import foreign labour because of a genuine shortage, they could pay them any wages and conditions that they wanted to. We are going to let Chevron do away with our jobs and bring an imported labour on more than they pay. We have seen a number of attempts over the last three years since the infamous All Seas decision the suing of 15 of our rank and file members for millions of dollars over a safety dispute. When you go out and have a look globally uh, at this company and start to closely examine its behaviour, if you go to Richmond, uh, where they've got one of their major refineries in the States, they had an explosion at that refinery that sent 14,000 people from the community to hospital. If that sort of behaviour was shown in this country, they would shut that operation down. Fire! They want a compliant workforce that won't push back on safety, on environmental standards and on industrial standards that we have in this country. If you look at Gorgon, Gorgon is an A-class reserve, A-class nature reserve. It is out of sight, out of mind. Unless the people who work on that project raise the breaches, the safety breaches, the, in particular the environmental breaches, they're not heard of. And so there's a willingness to try and remove Australian labour from that project because we do report breaches and we stand up and we demand dignity and respect on the job. In Chevron, we have the godfather of Australian tax minimisation and dare I say it, tax avoidance. The ITF has done a thorough analysis of Chevron's corporate structures and their tax paying history in Australia and overseas. And what we found is exactly what Sam Dastiari and the Corporate Tax Inquiry found, is that Chevron is potentially one of Australia's largest tax rorters. And subsidiary companies, does Chevron have registered in Delaware? In Delaware? Uh, I don't know exactly. I think it's about 200. And then there's Bermuda. Uh, in Bermuda, I think we have about the same. We see a company that is avoiding, in a major way, its obligations in respect to tax in this country. Have you been to Bermuda? I have not been to Bermuda. Chevron, by and large, is the largest tax dodger, if we're to believe, and we do, what's been coming out of the Senate inquiry into tax avoidance in this country. Chevron, on a major scale, have been avoiding the taxes they should pay for the wealth they're generating out of that project. 
beyond what your global Chevron set up a corporate structure that means that they're shifting debt onto Australia and moving the profit outside of Australia. It's a simple scheme so that they're reducing the amount of tax they're actually paying in Australia. The ATO filed a lawsuit against Chevron. It's a major landmark lawsuit against Chevron for if companies like Chevron aren't held to account to pay their fair share of tax, then the community loses out on the wealth that's generated as this resource wealth comes out the ground. Only last month, the federal court ruled against Chevron, ordering it to pay almost $300 million in back taxes. At issue is the company's loan structure that finances... In short, Chevron moves the profit offshore to tax havens like Singapore, to Delaware, to Bermuda, so that the Australian businesses are running at a loss or a near loss, and in the years that they're running at a loss, they're claiming a tax refund from the Australian government, which means that Australian taxpayers are subsidising shareholders of Chevron. The key reason why Global Capital does this is it makes things cheaper. I think the bigger issue at play here though is if there's an ability to remove the MUA from the offshore oil and gas industry then Global Capital controls it. You deserve to work in your Chevron's been ably assisted by their friends in politics, in particular Michaelia Cash. That's what goes on to this side. As we want this decision by you reversed. We're involved in a campaign against Chevron because Chevron attacked us. Chevron attacked this union and its membership's right to a union collective agreement in the workplaces that they work on the Gorgon project. To make change, get it to the table and just make it happen, whatever it takes. And you are!